but one of the the other bigger announcements they made uh, uh, at uh, in uh, at Inspire was they partnered with uh, Oracle on a, a basically Oracle database as a service, which you could be running uh, a micro uh, an Azure application that was hitting uh, an Oracle database, essentially a turnkey multi-cloud uh, capability. Uh, they're doing peering, high performance uh, networking, so you're not necessarily experiencing that uh, lag, but there's literally uh, Oracle infrastructure inside of, 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 of the Azure cloud, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, I, I swear to goodness, Pat, we have like the same brain because <laughs> I legitimately yeah. Uh, had that up on my screen and was going to say, can we make a do a quick seven five? Can we like maybe not do the full five here? But uh, by the way, I love seeing uh, that the press release was Austin, Texas and Redmond, Washington. I know. But, um, you know, Pat, I think the thing here, too, is that uh, this is a story in which multi cloud. This is a true example of the power of multi cloud of, you know, if you kind of look at how these things can work together, it doesn't require extraordinary expertise on both platforms. It's designed for simple integration. Uh, you know, I've read some of the comments from Clay McGurk, the, the SVP of that business. Um, you know, he basically said, you know, and it's an acknowledgement, by the way, that this pro this this public to multi thing is, is a real deal. That, you know, effectively, they talked about clients like AT&T and Marriott just some of the world's biggest companies that they want both because they're running Oracle database and they're running workloads in Azure. And basically these companies coming together and saying, let's make this more, so let's solve this. Let's solve this for our customers. Let's make this more accessible. Let's make this simpler to deploy. Um, and so I was impressed by that. You know, I was almost going to figure out how to fit, fit this in as one of the six, but there was just so much news this week. It was just one of those busy, busy weeks. Yeah, it was, and it's interesting, and I don't know if you've been getting hints uh, out there in the industry, but uh, some people are, uh, birdies are whispering into my ears, hey, check out the new uh, Gartner MQ, uh, where there'll be more of a focus on multi-cloud. So here we are, man. Gartner, uh, Gartner. Gartner, yeah, I know. I've heard of him. It's so funny, somebody asked me if, uh, hey, do you have a... Uh, do you have a subscription there? I'm like, are you crazy? <laughs> Short answer is no. But uh, Daniel, I think we're going to see a lot more communications about multi-cloud uh, in, in the future. And once again, I think our two companies are in the lead in talking about that. I mean, you know, six years ago, we were talking uh, hybrid cloud and, and, you know, some companies were saying it's, it's not real and it's not valuable. And here we are today, multi-cloud, is it important? Is it not important? Um, I think we're gonna have a lot to talk about. We both acknowledge that multi-cloud is hard, right? With, uh, you need a data fabric, you need a security fabric, you need a um, um, yeah, networking, security, and data fabric uh, to, to pull it off uh, seamlessly. But when you look at deals like this, and then you talk, uh, uh, when you look at what Walmart did, where it's arbitrating between uh, three clouds and they built their own uh, eight, uh, DevOps layer between, between it all, gets pretty interesting.